to airborne flight training. Coming up on this week's episode, King updates FOI course, FAA lead candidate builds media presence, Helicopter Ground School celebrates 10 years. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. King updates FOI course. Those looking to achieve their flight instructor certificate have a new option to complete the teaching-oriented portion of their program with the improved and updated Fundamentals of Instruction course available through the King School's site. As the school notes, the FAA's Aviation Instructor's Handbook is a somewhat abstract portion to tackle after so many lessons on aviation coming out of left field for the fledgling instructor with a bevy of psychological, academic, and instructional terms that can prove to be a stumbling block for more practical-minded pilots. King approached the course change as a chance to, quote, shoot an approach through the verbal clouds, end quote, with founder and CEO Barry Canoodla. The, quote, four-hour course links the academic-sounding language of educational theory to practical situations and experiences that arise in real-life flight instruction, end quote, enabling instructors to distill the more useful ideas behind the terminology and apply them in the cockpit. Or as King put it, quote, the purpose of all the unfamiliar vocabulary is to help you recognize the subtle signals and in the interactions between you and your students and to avoid pitfalls encountered by all professional educators, off-putting as it may be, the academic language pins labels on things that you might otherwise not even notice and helps you to see them better, end quote. After the break, AWOS services expanded in Alaska. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. AWOS services expanded in Alaska. True to its word, the FAA has begun expanding its services throughout the Alaskan region in an effort to further enhance weather reporting. The installation of eight new AWOS stations will provide continuous, real-time, and accurate weather observations with minimal manpower in the often sparsely populated state. The new sites are expected to be operational by October of this year. Outgoing Administrator Steve Dixon said the new gear is his way of following through on commitments made to enhance the safety of flight within the state. Sim Aero ATR 4272 Simulator EASA Certified Sim Aero's Johannesburg Flight Training Center has completed EASA certification on its ATR 4272 Full Flight Sim, allowing South African Airlines a conveniently located domestic training system that's ready to go. One of the initial clients on board with the trainer and first pilots to test out the new system was Fleet and Training Manager for Air Mauritius, Olivier Bourgogne. He gave it the go-ahead for use in his airline's needs, saying it went above and beyond company requirements to train pilots on the ATR series. ALPA comments on Spirit Frontier Pilot Contracts The Airline Pilots Association has commented on the proposed merger mentioned by the CEOs of Frontier and Spirit Airlines, affirming the group's stance that the resulting pilot contract should reflect the increased size of the combined company, looking more like a mainline carrier contract than a regional one. AUVSI changes name. AUVSI, or the now former Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems, has announced its name change into the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems in order, quote, to reflect ongoing efforts to promote gender inclusivity, end quote, effective immediately. 
The association says the change will bring additional talent in the business. Quote, in this groundbreaking industry, we know that inclusivity accelerates innovation, end quote, says Mignon Hollis, chair of the new Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Advisory Group. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA lead candidate builds media presence. A possible candidate for incoming FAA administrator has been laying the groundwork for establishing his candidacy for leadership in aviation safety. Joe Bocheri, former fighter and United pilot, congressman, and Air Force commander, made his bureaucratic bones in his investigation of the Colgan Air Flight 3407. Now having built a suitable resume for chief administrator of the FAA, Bocheri lies near the top of the list for the head honcho of the aviation regulator alongside David Bourne, director of the Teamsters Airline Division, and Joe DePeat, president of the Airline Pilots Association. It should be noted, however, that Bocheri is the only one of the trio to court media and grant interviews so far, no doubt helpful when bolstering a case to receive a nomination. Many see him as the most likely because of his longtime airline experience and ties, supported by ALPA, who recommends that whoever is selected to govern the FAA is fine in their book, provided they're a member of their association. Though experienced, Bocheri remains a first officer at United, being part of the 2014 class and flying out of Cleveland, Ohio in the 737. He still works as the vice commander of the Pittsburgh Air Force Base. Coming up after these messages, Helicopter Ground School celebrates 10 years. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Helicopter Ground School celebrates 10 years. Helicopter Online Ground School has reached 10 years in business on March 1st and celebrated with a course intended to quote, finish your rating, end quote. Pilot training has always been an expensive affair, but Rotary students especially seem to suffer from drop-off, frustrated by the demanding nature of building skill and the pricey affair of buying flight time. The final approach course aims to take those students back into the seat and get them flying. Courses can be purchased for monthly or one-time fees for everything from private pilot to CFI, with options for monthly, annual, biannual subscriptions, and included FAA wings credit and test prep. The school offers a more time and cost-effective option than paying the hourly for an overworked, bleary-eyed CFI who'd rather be flying anyway. To kick off the event, the school released the new course with an iPad mini giveaway during a release livestream earlier this week. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.